In early February 2024, the South Korean government unveiled a proposal to increase enrollment quotas in medical universities, sparking significant backlash from the medical community. The announcement led to approximately 10,000 interns and resident doctors tendering their resignations and initiating a strike, resulting in disruptions to medical services and patient care. As a consequence, the crisis within South Korea's healthcare system escalated to the highest level of severity, labeled as serious. Ching Chao View will delve into this issue extensively to provide a comprehensive analysis. South Korean doctors extend strike, medical alert upgraded. On February 23, South Korean interns and resident doctors continued their strike against the government's plan to expand medical school enrollment. In response, authorities permitted medical institutions to offer online diagnosis and treatment until the strike ends. Additionally, the South Korean government has established the Central Disaster Safety Countermeasures Headquarters, headed by Prime Minister Han duk su to mobilize all ministries and local governments to address various situations, including requiring medical staff in public hospitals to extend their working hours. South Korea urges striking doctors to return or face legal consequences. On February 26, over 10,000 interns and resident doctors in South Korea have recently resigned with more than 9,000 of them absent from work. Major hospitals in Seoul have adjusted their schedules to cope with the impact, having surgical and medical treatment schedules and utilizing available manpower, such as specially trained doctors and professors, to fill the gaps. Striking South Korean doctors may face compulsory military service. On February 27, the South Korean Military Manpower Administration responded to the escalating doctor strike by announcing, during a regular press conference, a new regulation requiring resident doctors who haven't fulfilled military service to enlist immediately as medical officers or public health doctors upon resignation. Those affected would be required to serve for 38 months. Additionally, formal letters were sent to each local office instructing them to enforce the regulation. This announcement has sparked vehement protests from Korean doctors, who argue that it equates doctors with criminals, infringes upon their human rights and freedoms and violates both the Korean constitution and international law. South Korea to send 170 military doctors to reinforce hospitals. On February 28, the ultimatum issued by the Korean government for resigning interns and residents to return to work has expired. While nearly 300 doctors have resumed their duties, more than 9,000 doctors are yet to return. To address the shortfall, the South Korean government plans to dispatch 170 military doctors to major general hospitals in March as reinforcements. South Korea plans to revoke licenses of 8,000 doctors. On March 4, the South Korean government has taken steps to revoke the licenses of approximately 8,000 resident doctors following a 14-day strike. Officials have indicated that doctors facing sanctions will have their licenses suspended for at least three months. Park min Su, the deputy minister of the Ministry of Health and Welfare of South Korea, cautioned that revoking licenses could delay the completion of professional training, postponing the attainment of full-time doctor qualifications by over a year. Additionally, these sanctions may adversely affect future employment prospects. In 2022, South Korea's population was approximately 51.628 million. The South Korean government predicts that by 2025, the elderly population will reach 20%, resulting in a projected shortfall of 15,000 doctors, amidst a continued rise in medical demand. Reuters reported data from 2023 indicating that among South Korea's population of 52 million, there were only 2.6 doctors per 1,000 people. This figure is significantly lower than the OECD average of 3.7 doctors per 1,000 people. Critics suggest doctors' concerns are primarily about potential income decreases. Data from the South Korean Ministry of Health and Welfare and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development reveal that in 2020, doctors receiving salaries in South Korean medical institutions earned an average annual income of 195,463 US dollars. This figure surpassed the average incomes of doctors in Germany which stood at 187,703 US dollars and in France which amounted to 98,993 dollars this wave of resignations and strikes in South Korea's medical system has exposed the intricate web of interests at play additionally with South Korea's parliamentary elections looming the government's unwavering stance against compromise reflects political calculations aimed at aligning with public sentiment
The results of a public opinion poll released by the Korean media MBC on March 11 showed that 89% of respondents supported the expansion of medical university enrollment. Regarding responsibility for the long-term medical gap, 19% attributed it to the government, 37% to the medical industry, and 41% believed both sides were responsible. According to a survey by the polling agency Gallup on February 16, 81% of supporters of the ruling National Power Party and 73% of supporters of the largest opposition Democratic Party support the policy of expanding enrollment in medical universities. In summary, the Korean medical community shows no signs of halting the boycott, and the government remains adamant. Consequently, the standoff between the two sides is expected to persist for some time.